Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online livestream here on my channel. So today's been a bit of a surprise, because up until about five minutes ago or so, I was supposed to be live streaming the new uh, 190Z, the Karen 190Z, which was next in line to be released in GTA Online. But uh, take a look at this. This is very, very weird. If we go to the Legendary Motorsports website, we don't have the Karen 190Z available. It's the Vapid Hustler. This wasn't next in line. The Karen 190Z was next in line. I have no idea how Rockstar have skipped a car, because according to the information we've had, and basically how everything's happened before or worked before, Rockstar have had to release the vehicles in order based upon the positioning on the website. So, somehow they've skipped that vehicle. I'm not too sure if that was, uh, you know, on purpose or by mistake, but nevertheless, we have the Vapid Hustler now in GTA Online. Very, very weird indeed, and we'll talk about that a little bit uh, later on. Let's just go ahead and buy it. We'll get it in black and order that to Office Garage 1. But uh, one thing I will say, though, in fairness, it makes total sense to release the Vapid Hustler. I have talked about this in the video because this is the most sort of Valentine's Day themed vehicle. It's kind of similar to the Roosevelt. Uh, and the Valor, so this just makes total sense. But because we, we knew what the release order roughly was, it was not scheduled to be released until next week. But somehow, somehow Rockstar have managed to skip the next vehicle in order and then go to this one. Which, to some of you guys watching right now, you'll be like, Rockstar can release whatever they want to their game. Basically, if you know a bit about GTA 5, you'll know that this isn't common. When they have a release order, it's released in that order. It doesn't change, but oh well, never mind. Let's make our way into our garage. Uh, I've ordered two of these, by the way, because this is a really cool car. There's loads of customization options for it. Um, so we'll customize uh, the first one, take a look at it, and then the one we've just ordered we'll move on to a little bit later on. Um, but there is the white one that I ordered just before the stream started. There it is. And in fairness, it's a really cool looking car. I know loads and loads of you guys have been looking forward to this one. It's like a smaller version of the Albany Roosevelt and the Valor. Let me quickly go and check now and see if any of those are available at a discounted price um, this week. I'm guessing they are, because obviously it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. So I'm guessing, because these are Valentine's Day cars, there will be some form of discount on them. Yeah, there we go. The Albany Roosevelt Valor. $736,000, that's, I'm guessing, 25%. And the Albany Roosevelt, yep, that's 562000 So that again, that's discounted. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and order these as well. Let's put these into uh, my garage. We'll take a look at these as well in this live stream. Why not? Because these are discounted. I haven't actually um, bought these in a long time. Um, probably last Valentine's Day, if I'm honest. Uh, let me go ahead and order this one in red. Doesn't really matter. We'll put that one in Office Garage 1 as well. But of course, we'll focus on those a little bit later on. Let's take a look at the uh, the Hustler first of all. There's the second one that we ordered. Uh, in fairness, yeah, really, really cool car. And I know loads of you guys are going to love this as well. It has that sort of like hot rod feeling to it. I believe is what it's supposed to be. Let's get into the car and take a look at first person. I'm guessing the interior is going to be extremely cool. Very, very classic themed. There we go. I haven't driven this in uh, in online at all yet, so this is going to be the first time for me. Let's go and see what this thing is like. Here we go then. Hopefully it sounds special. You know, we'll, we'll park it by here first of all and just uh, take a walk around it and see what it's like. From the outside. A donation from NYL. Thank you so, so much. Big shout out to you. Thank you. And I will be inviting uh, you very, very shortly into the game. I wonder if the grill is uh, changeable. I know, I'm pretty sure we can change the front bumper. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Uh, and maybe the rear bumper as well. Yeah, let's go and drive it about. Let's go and see what this thing sounds like. We apparently have a raid going on right now. Uh, is it a Dre raid? I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. I hope you guys can hear the uh, the game volume and the engine sound. I'll go quiet now for a few seconds so you guys can fully hear that. It drives well, that's for sure. It drives very, very well.
It's not too bad. It doesn't sound that special. Again, I'm pretty sure it's a generic sound uh, that is available for quite a few cars. I couldn't tell you exactly which car it's from, but uh, there we go. Yeah, in fairness, this thing isn't too bad in terms of the way that it drives. Like, we just went around that corner back there pretty well. I thought this thing would be awful going around corners. It doesn't feel very fast, though. I think that's pr yeah, pretty much a given. But let's move on to the customization now. Uh, Laserbeam said, delete yesterday's video real quick. I know! That's so weird! So, so weird. Well, they didn't release the Karen 190Z today, and they released the Hustler instead. It's in the muscle category. I actually expected this to be in the uh, sports classics category, but there we go. Okay, repair. That should, do the trick. that should do the trick. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. Armor, brakes, front bumpers. Okay, here we go. So we have the option to front bumper delete. Removes that front bar, which I think it looks nicer on there. Or we can go for the rusty option. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. I thought it would be a lot more than that, if I'm honest. Um, we're going to leave it on stock. I think the stock option is uh, a little bit better than those. And the rear bumper is pretty much the same by the looks of things. Uh, we've got rear bumper deletes, which I guess isn't too bad. I think I prefer it with it on though. And then we have the rusty bumper. I guess we can always go for the... Yeah, the rear bumper deletes not too bad. Maybe we'll take a look at that a little bit later on. Uh, big shout out to Luke for that donation as a super chat. Thank you, man. Engine, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Right, exhaust, here we go then. The exhaust can't really come out of the back, but like a twin exhaust system. Uh, we can go for the short upswept pipes, which come out of the front. Reminds me of the rat rod that we have in game. Or the rat loader, I should say, not the rat rod, the rat loader. Um, we have these low upswept pipes, uh, the stinger exhaust. And then we have these side exits, which, as you can see, removes uh, the front fender and side sills. Um, so we won't be going for that one. I do like the exhaust coming out the back, but it's also kind of cool to have some coming out the side as well. I think my favorite's either going to be this one, the short upswept pipes, or the low ones. Let's go for the low ones. They're kind of cool. Let's select those. Shout out to Creo. How's it going, man? He said, uh, I'm sorry, bro, but I'm back. Welcome back, man. I've missed you. Right, on to grills. As uh, suspected, we can change this out. So we can go for the rusted version of the stock. Quite a few rusty options for this. I'm guessing the hood might be, uh, or have an option for that as well. Um, we're not going to go for that though. The uh, salty grill. So that's one that's obviously been damaged by salt then, I'm guessing. Uh, we've got the removed option. Uh, the nose deletes, which removes the entire front end. Uh, and we have this crow mesh. That's pretty cool actually. We'll probably go for that one. Or we can go for the black mesh. That's even better. Yeah, let's go for the black mesh. That's a beauty right there. So if you guys are into, I guess, removing the entire front end, you can do that. I'm guessing, again, there's going to be an option to remove the hood in a few moments. It might even be our next option. It is our next option. There we go. Remove the hood. Yeah, so we could have gone for that. Remove the hood. Remove the front grille. And uh, you have, like, a basically open engine bay option if you guys want that. We got the triple intake bug catcher. Uh, the single intake. And then we have the... Uh, the high-rise RAM pipes. We're not going to go for any of those. We're going to go for the uh, stock hood. And uh, shout out to Mathematical Killer. Just donated one dollar and said number nine yeet. Yes, that's nine live streams in a row that you've come in now, man. I appreciate that so much. Uh, so again, big shout out to you. Uh, right, horn. Let's go for the uh, the clown horn. I actually feel like it's very fitting horn for this car. Uh, lights. We will go for the xenons. We're not going to go for an, uh, a neon kit though. An underglow. Oh, liveries. Okay. 11 options in this category. So we can go for the basic pinstripe. This car right now is white, so we can't really see that. Uh, donation from uh, Kashiku, if I said that right. Did I miss something? I am broke. We donate more greetings from Austria. That's all good, man. I appreciate that so much. And apologies if I said you wrong. I am, uh, your name wrong. I am awful when it comes to pronunciation. Let me try again. Uh, Kashik Oku. Have I said that right? Hopefully so. Um, but shout out to you, man. And thank you uh, for that donation. Alright, so we can't see the, the basic pinch stripe because the car's white. Uh, we've got the yellow flames, the purple flames, those are quite nice. Uh, and we have the uh, rapid vapid, those are quite nice as well. Uh, and we have it's the hustle time livery, that's awesome too. Uh, we've got the sort of like rusty effect, there's loads and loads of rusty panels for this, so you can really create a really nice rusty car if you wanted to. In fact, maybe the second car that we bought earlier on uh, will go for this sort of rusty effect, because there's so many different options for that. Uh, we got the barn find, 
We have the custom racer, that's quite nice as well. Uh, the rusty dragon, loads and loads of rusty options, damn. Uh, the salty rod, and then back to a nun. Let's go for one of the flame options. I feel like this, uh, this purple flame one's quite nice. So we'll go for the purple flame one. We'll move on to uh, the respray now in a few moments, but let's go ahead and fit my custom plate, which is off-centered. God damn it, Rockstar, center up my plate, please. Right, respray. Right, in fairness, Ice White looks quite nice in here, but I bet outside it's not as good. Um, let's take a look at uh, Black, first of all. That's not too good. If you guys have any suggestions, by the way, colors that I should choose, let me know right now. And uh, obviously we'll change both primary and secondary as well, so go ahead and comment right now. Your suggestions, which ones you think I should go for. We can always change the livery out for the uh, the sort of like yellowy orange flames instead of the purple ones, if you guys prefer that. Uh, please can someone tell me the price of this car? It is six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, pink. <laughs> no, we'll skip that one. What about like a midnight purple? That could look really nice. In fairness, yeah. Some of you guys saying blue, lime green. <laughs> it would look awful with purple, right? Yeah, it looks. Actually, it's not too bad. Thought it'd be uh, worse, to be honest. Uh, black, go for a green. Yeah, let's you guys saying green. I don't know, green doesn't look uh, that great, in my opinion. I was thinking like a midnight purple when we eventually get there. Have we gone past them? Oh, no, here we go. Here are the purple. So it'll be uh, right next to blue. Um, so we have the uh, chef to purple. Midnight Purple, that's the one I was thinking about. I do kind of like that. I feel like the lighting in here isn't great, but I do think that looks... That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's go for a Midnight Purple. What does... Ooh. Does, uh... I even say that. Is that spin, Spinnaker? Spinnaker Purple? Is that better? Again, the lighting in the custom shop is completely different to outside. Let's go for Midnight Purple. We can always come back and change it. Alright, secondary color. Let's go for the same again. Midnight purple. We could go for a pleasant in fairness. We could go for a pleasant. Let's go back to our primary and just see what that looks like if we go for a metallic uh, midnight purple. Uh, a donation from NYL again who said Joey gets facial. <laughs> I have no idea what that's uh, supposed to mean, but uh, thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go for a... Uh, a metallic uh, midnight purple instead, and if we change, if we go for like a, a light, a lighter color, so it really stands out. Mm, maybe we'll just leave it on like a classic, because that looks nice. But obviously, we got a different secondary color then. Why is that? Why have we got a different secondary color? I'm rather confused. Let's go back to secondary and see if we can change that. Metallic. Midnight purple. Oh, there we go. Did we choose the wrong color? I've got no idea. I think we chose the wrong color, didn't we? Oh, well, never mind. We're going to go for the uh, metallic midnight purple. It's a bit more glowy. Uh, right. On to roof. We can fit a uh, sunshade. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, skirts. Right. So we can remove the... Remove side panels. Oh, we already have because we have the exhaust. I was rather confused then. I was like, what panel are we removing? Uh, we have the exhaust on, so it, uh, it makes no difference. Uh, and we can remove the panels and fenders if we want to. But we're not going to do that because I would much prefer to have the skirts and uh, fenders on. Right, suspension. We can lower that down. Doesn't really make a huge difference. We'll do it anyway, though. 4,000. Upgrade the race transmission. Fit a turbo as well. That not make any difference to the, uh, the stats. I'm guessing it must be additional acceleration there, right? Uh, wheels, okay, next option. Let's go for a set of, like, uh, mesh wheels. They could be quite nice. Uh, and they're in tuners, right? A, a set like that could be quite nice. But I want to make sure that we... Well, what color would be nice on, on those? Black? Black or, like, a bright purple, maybe. You know, let me let me go ahead and select the set and then change the uh, the color so we can see what we're doing. I don't want to leave it on the uh, the stock color. If we can try and find a color that really matches that uh, that purple, that'd be awesome. And we do that. That's probably the closest we're gonna get, right? Shaft of purple. Maybe even a pink would be more fitting. Let's try and find a pink. 
Hot pink. Salmon pink. We need something sort of in between that. Like a neon pink. Um, let's go for... Let's go for the, the shaft of purple. That'll do. Oh, tires. Let's go ahead and make sure that is uh, bulletproof. All right, let's go back to wheels as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure on those, to be honest. I want to get rid of that uh, sort of like silvery gray um, add a circle on the rim right now. Are any of these uh, any of these mesh ones like that? Anyone know? Got a bit of muscle, maybe. Ooh, they aren't too bad. Let's go for those. The classic rods in purple as well. They're not too bad, so we'll go for those. All right, and then. Should we go for a tire smoke as well? Let's go for a tire smoke. We have the flames on here right now. Tires, tire smoke, and we want like a purple color. There we go, purple. 14,000. And then finally, window tints. Are we going to apply one of those? Yeah, let's go for one of those. All right. Limo. And that is it then for the customization. So not a huge amount of customization then uh, that we've applied at least. There are more things we can do, but we, we left quite a few things stuck. Um, so we didn't change the front bumper, but you can remove that or go for a rusty version. You can change the grill, which we did. You can remove these uh, side skirts, which we didn't do. Um, we obviously removed the side panel and put the side pipe exhaust on. Didn't change the hood. Did fit the sunshade. And uh, didn't change the rear bumper because, again, the only option is to either remove or make it rusty. Um, so yeah, there we go. This is not too bad. There's certainly worse cars uh, in terms of customization. Pedro asked, is it fast? Uh, I don't think so. We haven't done any comparisons just yet, um, but I'm pretty sure it's just one of those standard uh, cars in the terms of speed. It looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, shout out to, is that Furia? Have I said that right? Again, I am so bad with names, so I apologize if I said that wrong. Uh, but thank you, man. I appreciate that. It sounds quite nice now that we've uh, upgraded it, customized the engine and stuff. At first I wasn't too sure about this car, but I think now that we've applied all these customizations on, it looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. I thought we were going to crash then. Yeah, we'll do some speed and stuff uh, tests in a few moments. We're going to customize the second one that we bought. See that we bought it. And uh, then we'll move on to that. We're going to go for like a rusty version next. There's definitely a few different variants you can make of this if you guys really like this car. Right, as we're just driving now in a straight line, this is what I'm going to tell you guys. We're just even get a speed from the speedo. Well, according to the speedo, we're doing 100 and 130 miles an hour or so. Is that right? We can't be doing 130 in this thing. It doesn't feel like 130. Let's try again. It's got to be wrong. 80, 100... 120. It doesn't feel like 120. 130. Is is the speedo? I, I thought the speedo in game was pretty accurate. Who knows? Who knows? Loads of you guys asking about the Karen 190Z. For some reason, I don't know why it wasn't released in GTA Online. Rockstar somehow skipped it, even though we didn't think that was possible. Uh, some of you guys said they're going to check the speedo. Some of you think it's wrong. I'm pretty sure it's always... I don't, I don't say it's 100% accurate, but it's usually pretty close. Um, shout out by the way to Galaxy Gamer for the like. I appreciate that, man. Oh, my God. Almost, uh, <laughs> almost crashed there. Right, we're going to take this back inside. We're going to go ahead and customize the second one that we bought and apply some of the rusty customizations. And, uh, yeah, then we'll do some tests. We'll do some, uh, some straight line drag races and we'll do some uh, track racing as well. So if any of you guys play on PC and you have me added... Um, get ready, because in about five minutes or so I'm going to drop you guys an invite into the game. And then later on we'll take a look at the uh, the discounted Roosevelt and the Roosevelt Valor. Alright, we'll drive this down to the custom shop. I always forget to go into the uh, the office garage. I've got one of those. Just drive out without even thinking about it, to be honest, but never mind. Oh my god, oops. <laughs> I've got a feeling this one's going to be a very slidey car. Despite the fact that it's very, very short, it's going to like to spin out. I promise I'm not to say next because I'm really bad at driving in game. Shout out by the way to uh, Coxit for the like as well. Thank you, man. We're up to 300 likes right now. Let's see if we can smash a thousand on the stream. So if you guys haven't done so already, drop a like, comment, hashtag liked in the chat. 
and uh, throughout the stream, try and get some shoutouts in. All right, here we go. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Are you on PS4? No, I'm playing on PC, as always. All right then, let's quickly customize this one. We've already taken a look at all the customizations, but I want to go for the second variant. So let's go for the rusty front bumper, and then the rusty rear bumper. Upgrade the engine, exhausts. We'll probably go for a side pipe as well. We went for this last time. Let's go for the upswept one instead. The, the short upswept pipes. Uh, grill. We're gonna go for a rusty grill as well. These options more fitting. No, we'll go for the rusty grill. Uh, hood. We can remove that. We'll just leave it stock. We'll do that. Uh, horn. Let's go for. Let's go for a, a musical this time. I think. There we go. The sad trombone. Perfect. Uh, lights. We'll upgrade those to xenon. All right. Livery. The important part. All right, so we're going to go for a rusty one, and there's some pretty cool ones in fairness, so let's try and find the best. Hopefully we can see the rust well with the uh, the black. I'm guessing no. It's going to be difficult to see. Uh, oh, the first one's not too bad. Uh, just some uh, patina. Maybe a bit too rusty. There's some better ones. Uh, barn find. We have the Los Santos Customs one, which, again, you can't really see the rust on there right now, but I know it's pretty good. Uh, the Rusty Dragger. That's not too bad either. And we have the salty rod, and then back to none. All right, uh, I do like this one in fairness, the uh, the custom racer. But I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. There's not enough rust on the car. <laughs> uh, this was pretty good. If we change the uh, the primary color and stuff, yeah, let's go for the. I do like this one as well though. Ooh, it's fifty fifty right now. What do you guys think? Do we go for the Rusty Dragger or the Custom Racer? Let me know right in the chat. Be very, very quick. That's what you guys saying. Uh, salt Rod. That's pretty good as well, in fairness. We can always change the uh, the front grill. But, obviously, we only have Rusty options for the bumpers. Not Salty options. What's what you guys saying for the barn find? I don't know. I, I, want, some, I want some logos and I want some writing. Alright. Uh, custom... Racer, barn fine, rusty, rusty. I think rusty's taking it right now. Loves and loves you guys saying rusty. We're gonna go for the rusty dragger then. Let's do it. Um, plates, let's fit my custom plate. And we'll probably go for a black license plate on this one. Respray, right, we're not gonna leave it in the black and gray that it's on. Let's go for something much, much better. What do you guys think? What should we go for as the, uh, the primary? Ooh, silver's really good actually. Silver's really good. We might go for a silver. Uh, red. Pinks, oranges. What was that? Bronze. Yellow's quite nice as well. Oh, yellow is, is really good. I do like yellow as well. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, so you guys saying the silver one is really nice in fairness. Um, blue. I'm liking loads and loads of these colors right now. We should go for a, like a regular brown. The purples, the whites, and then back to the start. All right, we're probably gonna go for a silver. I think silver was really nice. Go for a nice light silver like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, so it's bluish, bluish silver, and then secondary. Set that to the same as well. There we go. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's go for that. Right, and then back out, and then on to the next option, roof. Uh, yeah, we'll fit a sort of shade on this one as well. Skirts, we can remove the side panel, which we've already done. We're fitting that exhaust, and we can remove the panels and fenders as well, but we're not going to do that on this car. Uh, suspension, we'll lower that down as well. Transmission, obviously upgrade that, and the turbo as well. Wheels... Let's go for a set of which ones we go for. Low riders, try those first of all. The flares could be quite nice. Could be quite nice. Uh, oh, yeah, the fresh mesh are quite good. Let's go for those. We won't change the wheel color either because obviously we already have a silver on here, so that goes quite well. But what we will do, yeah, we'll just check that 
it's not really worth doing. Uh, we will obviously put bulletproof tires on. Tire design. We could go for white walls. It looks it looks too modern. It looks it looks too fresh, too new. So we won't do that. And we will put a tire smoke on. And we probably won't change the window tints either. But yeah, we'll leave it standard. All right, there we go then. That is the second hustler we just customized. Uh, we'll drive back to the garage. Uh, just go and compare these two. I want you guys to let me know which one you prefer. Um, I know some of you guys are telling me to change the paint job. I think silver is quite nice. In fairness, there, there were some really nice colors this thing is uh, available in. A yellow. Yellow worked quite well with the rust effect. Blue as well. We'll drive back. Oh my god. Almost lost the back end then. Let's take this back to the garage. Oh my god. How much is this car? It is $625,000. Is it worth buying? Good question. Um, wait until the end of the stream and I'll come with that. I'll come up with that conclusion. Uh, at the moment, this is what I'm going to say. It's the type of car that if you like classic cars and you like hot rods and stuff like that, this car, just from what we've seen so far, is pretty cool. There's some nice customization for it. It looks good. Uh, according to the speedo, it does 130, which I very much doubt. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll check out the comparison now in a few moments. But yeah, there we go then, guys. So those are the two hustlers we've customized. We went for this, uh, this like flame purple. That's the first one. Then we went for the rusty one. Obviously, we just customized then. Um, let me know right now in the chat then. Just say either purple or rusty. Which is your favorite out of these two? I am sort of like 50-50. I won't lie. I do like the purple one. It looked pretty nice outside. Not so good in the uh, in the garage lighting. Um, but the rusty one's also nice as well. Okay. So we have rusty, rusty, purple, 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 rusty, rusty, purple, rusty, 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 purple, purple, purple. I'm having like streaks right now. <laughs> I think it does seem to be very 50 50. Uh, yeah. We have like a streak of purple, then a streak of rusties. It is very, very 50 50 right now. Um, which I guess is kind of good. It's nice that there isn't any particular favorite. But yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and invite some players in. So we can go and do a comparison then between uh, this and some of the other muscle cars in the category. Because this is in the muscle car category. Uh, like I said, uh, according to uh, the Speedo, this is 130 miles an hour. Which uh, I very much doubt. But I could be wrong, you never know. So if that is the case, it could be the fastest muscle car we have in game. And faster than most other cars that we have as well in GTA 5. Right, I'm inviting everyone in. So if you guys are on PC and I have you added, uh, let me know and uh, I'll drop you an invite or just come online. Two more people. I'm guessing the final person, Josh, is going to tell me invite disabled. Yeah, okay. And very quickly, let me accept some more friend requests as well because we have a uh, full list of requests. We'll just select them at random. There we go. Got maybe two or three more before it tells me I can't add anyone else. Scroll down randomly. Oh, wait, no, that was much sooner than I expected. I got 11 spaces left on the friend uh, on the friend list, guys. All right, let's get into the purple one. Got three other people in here right now. All right, if you guys are joining, um, get yourself uh, a muscle car and go to the airport. Let's go and do a drag race then and see what this thing is like in comparison to some of the other muscle cars in the game. At first, I didn't think this car was going to be that fast. But according to the speedo, like I said, it's a, it's a fast car. This thing does corner really nicely. If you guys are into drifting, this could be a pretty good drift car. Surprisingly. You wouldn't expect it really from a, like a very short wheelbase car. It does feel quite nice, actually. Now that we've customized it, it does feel fast. Oops. I was totally meant to do that. I landed it though, so it's all good. Whilst Dragon and Rule is still commenting blue, blue, blue in the chat. <laughs> I think he's a bit delayed in the stream. So in about five minutes when he catches up, <laughs> you'll hear me saying this. Alright, I'm going to quickly just repair the car. Some damage was done. Daniel asked, uh, how much is the car? It is $625,000 to purchase. 
Is it worth buying is the next question we'll be answering, so we're going to go and do some drag races first of all. Um, but again, this type of car, this is what you have to bear in mind. Um, obviously, every car Rockstar release isn't going to be the best in the game. This is the type of car that you buy more for novelty purposes, and uh, I guess if you question whether you... Oh my god. If you have to question whether you should buy it or not, the answer is probably no. Um, simply because it's not one of those, well, from what we've seen so far, it's not one of those extremely special and standout vehicles, so... Uh, if you're not too sure whether you should buy it or not, don't, basically. But uh, let's do this drag race first before we definitely lock in that answer, because if this thing is the fastest muscle car in game, then uh, it might be worth buying for that reason. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing does like to spin out a bit. And it's not just because I'm a, a bad driver. I would admit that I'm really bad in game. I'm going to just play mouse and keyboard that I play on. Here we go. Oh, there's two people here already. Oh, this is uh, quick. We have the Frankenstanger and we have the Dominator. Okay. Let's go further back, guys. We're like halfway up the runway right now. Let's go further back. Let's make use of all the runway. Look at all those spaces we've got back here. Look at that. It's like half half the track right there. Alright, we'll start on this line. Is that the... Dominator coming down? Yeah, it is. It's the Pissfaster Dominator. Alright, so there's one person just outside the uh, the airport. Two people over here as well. Let me quickly buy some more grenades. I'm pretty sure I'm out. Uh, inventory. Armor. Throwables. There we go. $4,000 for those. Don't blame your tools. It's the gamer that can't drive. That's also pretty true. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to find things to blame. Hold up. In this car, you can't throw grenades. What? You can't throw grenades in this car. Okay, someone else is going to have to do that, or we can just type 3 to 1 in the chat. That's probably the best thing to do. We'll go with that. Alright, we have the Sabre GT coming down. We've got, oh, the Hot Rod. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. Where is it? Here it is. It's the, um, oh, the hot knife. The hot knife. They're very, very similar in fairness. Very, very similar. And we have the Duke of Death as well. Is that everyone? Oh, one more person. Domzilla came down with Dukes. I've not seen the hot knife in game in ages. In, in fairness, yeah, look how similar they are. This car's like maybe a bigger version of that. Oh, here we go. And we have uh, I'm Fat Man down here as well. Also with the, uh, the new car as well, the Hustler, which looks pretty nice too. All right. Um, I will type three, two, one, go in the chat. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Right then. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh my god. We're ahead. We're actually ahead. What is the fastest car in the most car category? We are miles ahead right now. Oh my god. This car really is pretty impressive. Speed wise. I know it's a hot rod. It kind of makes sense. Can anyone confirm what the fastest car in the muscle car category is? Wow, that was a surprising result. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Absolute chaos taking place. Okay, everyone line up. Let's go again. Does anyone know what the fastest car in the muscle category is? I'm just waiting in the chat right now to see if I can find out who uh, who's commenting what. You know what I'll do? Let me quickly just bring up the uh, the results, the the overall spreadsheet with the. Uh, the vehicle info on. Give me a second, guys. I want to make sure we get this right. So we're comparing it against some of the fastest cars in the category. Um, quickly get a muscle. Oh, great. Thanks, Shada. Sh Shada just blew me up. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, let me quickly just go ahead and ensure that. Thank you, Shada. Uh, the fastest car in a straight line is the Pisswast Dominator. And we beat that. How can we help you? We beat that as well. 
Yeah, okay. Wow, right, okay, so the, the new vehicle then, the Hustler, is the fastest car, the, the fastest muscle car in GTA 5. Right, okay. That's, uh, unexpected. Alright, vehicles. Quest, okay, there we go. No, it's the Yosemite, yeah, the Yosemite is the fastest around a track. But the fastest car in a straight line is the Pissfast Dominator with a top speed of 120... Uh, 4 miles an hour, but this from what we saw in the speedo does 130 miles an hour, so It's the fastest car in a straight line. Loads of you guys asking for the Yosemite, like I said, in a straight line The Yosemite only does 117 miles an hour, so in that drag race situation It's not gonna beat this car on a track. Well, we'll, we'll find out very shortly Well, I did not expect that at all It's very very surprising right if everyone can get their cars again uh, We're going to do this race one more time Wow, yeah, it was miles ahead as well. Again, very, very impressive. Let's go back down here. Or are they? Oh, they're on the other side of the runway, aren't they? Let's go down there. I'll go to them. Black Ops Boy asks, what discounts are there? We'll take a look at those uh, later on. But I'm guessing all the Valentine's Day stuff. The uh, Roosevelt and the Roosevelt Valor were discounted, so I'm guessing anything that's Valentine's related is discounted, with it being the Valentine's special event this week. Valentine's Day tomorrow. This thing might be the fastest car on a straight line, but uh, I guess the real question is, how does it perform on a track? We'll do some races now in a few moments once we finish these drag races. Can anyone come? Everyone come on the same line as me? The car disappeared. Right, we have a Dominator. Shiloh's got the... is that the Lurcher? <laughs> got a Stanger down here. Anyone else coming down? So I'm going to line up. Please line up. Please line up. Uh, Nick asked, is there anything new? In the terms of Valentine's Day content, the only thing we've gotten today is the Hustler. I don't think there's any new outfits, game modes, or anything like that. Apparently there's a modder. Oh, yes, there is a modder in the game. My car won't move. Oh dear, we had this problem in the last live stream. Oh, we have a Yosemite down here right now, so you guys, uh, yeah, you guys can be happy that we've done a, a comparison. Um, but my car's broken. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, so there's there's a modder in the session besides Shyla. Who's done this again? We have this every single live stream. Let me have a quick, uh, a quick look who's in the game. If this keeps happening, I'm gonna have to remove everyone from my friend list, and not accept anyone. Which is gonna be a shame. So whoever's uh, locked the car, please stop. No, it's broken. All right, okay. Never mind. We'll have to skip the second drag race. We know the results anyway. The hustler is the fastest car in a straight line. So let's go ahead and skip to the race then. And again, I'm only going to invite people that uh, I know and can trust. So unfortunately, everyone else is going to have to just uh, sit and watch. Let me quickly... Uh, wait, what? What's going on right now? What? Why is there a plane on my head? <laughs> what? I have a plane on my head. Okay, right. Jobs, play job, rocks are created. We're going to play Cutting Coroners because we play that every week. It is a good race to do if I can find it. There it is, Cutting Coroners. Fingers crossed this uh, this plane that was like floating above my head isn't going to transfer. Uh, right, we're going to go for a non contact, three laps, muscle car. Let's try and find, there we go. Noon, weather, clear, traffic off, wanted levels off, custom vehicles on. Because we, of course, want to use the Hustler. And then I'm going to have to handpick people to join the session. Uh, composer can come in. Domzilla. Purple Beats. Falcon. Geo. Mets. Shyla. 
And yeah, we'll go for that for now. I'll do to be safe. Right, so we need one person then to choose the Vapid Dominator, the Piss Bus of Vapid Dominator. Uh, one person, if they've got it, the Yosemite or the Yosemite. I'm going to go for the new Hustler. So, yeah, if you have something else that's decent, choose it, I guess. Uh, well, Striking Rules still spamming Blueberry in the chat. Not really too sure why. Uh, Chili Gamer likes my name. I know, it's uh, <laughs> it's a weird one. Okay, I think that's going to be it. No one else is joining. Let me try and invite Shana one more time. Give it a second or two. We've got, oh, actually, 10 seconds to join. We'll, we'll leave the time and go down to zero. Um, five, four, three, two, one. You got to join quickly. Didn't get it. Okay. Just four of us. All right. What if you guys need to choose the Yosemite? Someone else got to choose the Piss Buster Dominator. I'm going to go for the Hustler, and then whoever's left over can choose whatever they've got. Right. Okay. Let's go for the, yeah, let's go for the custom, custom rusty one that we've got. And then, put a thousand dollar bet on myself. I've got this, I reckon I've got this race, guys. I only got the custom dominated, I'll do. It's uh, slightly slower, but it's, you know, close enough. I think the speed difference is about five miles an hour or so in a straight line. Here we go then, guys. Right, Dominator, Dukes, and a standard Dukes. Okay. Could have done with the Yost Might, but never mind. Three, two, one. Go! Oh, no one else would have bet on themselves. Look at that, off the line. We are so much faster than everyone else. I'm going to concentrate. It's going to be my race. Oh my god, break, break. Turning circle on this is very wide. <laughs> the brakes aren't very good. Right, take it easy. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright. The, the turning circle on this it is very wide. The brakes are awful. So that is to, uh, to bear in mind. Alright. Oh my god, done it again. Alright, this thing is good in a straight line, but not around a track. Again, kind of makes sense. It's supposed to be like a hot rod themed vehicle. Maybe we should handbrake turn it. That didn't go well. <laughs> that didn't go well. Maybe we won't handbrake turn it. Is catch up turned off or on? Ah, uh, no, catch up is off. And so is uh, slipstreaming as well. Make it slow. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing around corners is awful. As predicted before. It's faster than a straight line though. Very, very fast on a straight line. Alright, lap two of three. Oh, wait, what? Some ra random fat guy just running down the road. Okay, this thing, because we've lowered it, every time we hit a curb, it just like spins out. What's it that's actually hitting it? Bumper's not that low, is it? We are miles behind right now. Oh my god. Alright, now I know I'm not the best racer in the world, but uh, this thing just feels really awkward to like drive in this race situation. Maybe if we try a less corner intense race, something with a lot more straights. This might do a little better. So one more lap to go. Yeah, that's one more lap, okay. We do have some time to sort of catch up then. Okay, here we go. Got a nice straight section here. We're not actually that far behind. We are... Okay, 12 seconds supposed to be behind the person in first. Come on, come on, come on. Take it slow through this corner. Concentrating hard right now. Come on. I want to prove the hustle's a good car. <laughs> that didn't go so well there. Where is the Karen 190Z? 
It didn't come out today. Very, very surprisingly. I don't really know why, but somehow Rockstar skipped over it, despite the fact that it was next in uh, in line to be released. I did sort of predict that they'd be releasing the uh, the Hustler for Valentine's Day, so I thought they might release the Karen today and then the Hustler tomorrow, but uh, no. Somehow they skipped over it. This car bumps, which is why it's so fast. It's possibly the same glitch that we have going on, uh, that we have with the Viscerous as well. Oh my god. We could have at least come third, and then, <laughs> and then we hit the curb. Oh, that's something else to bear in mind with this car. But there we go. Last. At least it wasn't a DNF. There we go. 3 minutes 39. That's actually really bad. One, two, three, zero. Look at that. Four more dollars. That could have been awesome. Yeah, the car is too low for uh, the curbs. So that is that is something else to bear in mind uh, with that vehicle. Let's uh, drop a like, guys. Rate the job. I'm going to go and play another race. Taking off could be a good one. That's a fairly straight race. You know, yeah, we're going to play that. Taking off. Because this doesn't have... Obviously, there are corners in it. But there's some nice straight sections. So we'll see what it's like in one of these races instead. I grinded for the uh, the Karen 190Z that it didn't release today. Uh, don't worry, man. It'll come out. Uh, it'll come out next week. Instead, it's just kind of annoying that we thought it was going to be today. And uh, like I said, I, I'm really confused. Really, really confused. And, and for those people that have been obviously playing GTA for some time, you'll know why. It doesn't make any sense how how they've done it. There's a release order based upon the positioning on each website, and somehow they skipped it. So I'm not really too sure how that's going to work uh, next week. Is it going to be positioned behind the Hustler when it's released? Possibly. Alright, custom vehicles on. Alright, save again, guys. Uh, please, if you have a Yosemite, Yosemite, whatever, please choose it. Um, Dominator again, and what, whatever else you guys have. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, let's go for my purple one this time. And again, let's put a bit on myself. Hopefully someone else does as well. Oh, it's 2,000 on myself right now. Okay. Alright, 3 to 1 to that guy. Uh, Matt is 6 to 5, and then 10 to 1 to Tomzilla. Okay. 6 to 5 on myself. I don't really know why, because I don't usually win races very often. Right, so we have the. Oh, the Sabre. Yeah, the Sabre Turbo Custom, right? Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Go! That's a perfect start. Tomzilla didn't get a very good start. We're ahead of the Dominator already. This thing it does have a pretty impressive top speed. We're already up to 120 mile an hour. 130 is its top speed. Oh, too soon. No! I'm gonna spin out. Keep going. This is where the other muscle cars will definitely dominate. Speaking of uh, dominate, this Dominator right there. Alright, some nice uh, straight sections by here now. I will probably win this race, if I don't spin out, that is. As long as I handle well, it'll be all good. This thing is fast, but its uh, handling is awful. We lost a lot of speed there in that drift. Or well, that slide, I should say. It wasn't really a drift. Clean lap. Hello to Apex. Apex. Hello, hello, hello. Slow, slow, slow. God, the turning circle on this is so wide. Such a small car, you wouldn't expect it to be that bad. Uh, do a drag race between this and the Pyrea. I'm pretty sure the Pyrea is faster. What, what's the top speed of the Pyrea? Is it like 136? This is 130, so it is going to be slower. So I'll speed there. Yeah, okay, we've got this race. We got this one. So in races where it's you know fairly sort of straight and open like this one, uh, obviously it's gonna do pretty well. It's got the highest top speed by a mile. It's just cornering that lets this thing down. But again, that is sort of to be expected given what type of car it is. You can really hold some very long slides in this. Okay, 
here we go, final corner. And job done. All right, sweet. We got that one by a good couple seconds as well. Uh, would you buy this car again? I've already bought two of them, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be buying another one, but... Uh, I, I guess what you're recommending is, would you buy it? Well, this is what I'm going to say, like I said before. The thing is, there aren't... I don't know about you guys, but there aren't really many races that take place that involve uh, muscle cars. I don't know how many of you guys play muscle car races, but... Um, you know, if you're going to go and race, you'd probably use, um, you know, a sports or a supercar. So, the sort of, like, racing side of things doesn't really matter that much. But this thing is faster than a straight line. It's the fastest muscle car. And it's only $625,000, which I know for a muscle car is maybe a little expensive. But it's a pretty awesome car, and loads of you guys are going to love it either way. Because it's a nice sort of classic uh, hot rod. Uh, there's a couple of customizations for it as well. It looks cool. Doesn't sound too bad either. Obviously, there are some better sounding muscle cars in the category, but, uh, well, yeah, it's not too bad. All right, we're going to go and play one more race, I think. We're going to go and play um, Crossing Paths, which I think is also a muscle car race, I think. Uh, is it worth buying also for daily use? I don't know about daily use. I feel like it's the type of car that if you like muscle cars, then maybe you probably want to use it more often, but uh, in my opinion, there are obviously better cars to use for daily and just regular use. Uh, yeah, it might be faster than a straight line, but the handling is bad, so as you're driving around the map, it's going to be awkward to use. Um, there are probably better cars, like, you know, regular supercars instead, um, that I'd recommend using over this. But it all comes down to what you like. If you like muscle cars, just from what we've seen so far, it's definitely a good car. Right, let me go and uh, invite some more people. Again, i got to be very selective who I choose, because... There's a modder on my friend list, and I don't know who it is. Well, I know Max is in the chat right now, and he wanted an invite. I'll try and invite Shyler again. Um, we'll invite Fat Man as well. And we'll leave it at that. Right, you guys have 30 seconds to join. We'll give it 30 seconds, and then we're going to load it up. And whilst we're waiting, we'll give a few shoutouts to uh, Josh in the chat. Thank you for the like, man. We're almost at 500 likes right now, just 40 away. So if you guys could drop a like, I'll give you a shout-out as well. We've got uh, 17 seconds to go. Uh, Austin said, uh, first they don't release the 190Z, uh, then they make this thing the new fastest muscle car, something's wrong. Uh, again, it's kind of like understandable why it's the fastest in a straight line, because it's supposed to be a hot rod. Uh, an old one at that, but uh, that's the reason behind that. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they didn't release the, the 190Z, it's kind of a strange one. Um, shout out to Welsh Dragon Rule for the like, Christopher as well, thank you for the like. Um... Joseph as well, thank you for the like. Oscar as well. Uh, Brett, we got a few seconds, so I'll continue on with the shoutouts. Uh, James Fox as well, thank you for the like. Codename Black as well, thank you. And uh, Ali as well, thank you, man. All right, swing on chat to join, and then we can launch this bitch up. Uh, Yesh, shout out to you as well. Caleb, uh, thank you for the like and the sub. Uh, Sync as well, shout out to you. Come on, Charlie, you're gonna join. Wildfire, thank you for the like. HK Philip, thank you for the like as well. Any second now. I say any second. A any hour now, we might be there. Oh, Charlotte left, okay. Uh, do you play PS4? I do have a PS4, I don't play it on it. Uh, I haven't loaded up my PS4 in a long time. Uh, I've run out of PSN Live, whatever you call it anyway. Um... So I'll probably be going on that until Red Dead comes out at the end of this year. Right, go with the purple one again. Put a bit on myself. I got this. Uh, is there anything else new today? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, when we finish this race, we'll back out and we're going to go and take a look at some of the other content uh, available in-game. Obviously, it's Valentine's sp uh, Special Event Week. So expect some discounts on Valentine's related content and uh, some other stuff as well. There might be a t-shirt available as well this week for just logging in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nailed that one. Okay, these guys didn't, uh, didn't even try to accelerate on the uh, three, two, one. In fairness, for a muscle car, and for a, well, the car that it is, its acceleration is pretty good. It's just the handling which is so bad. That corner wasn't too bad. 
I've seen worse. I'll take her right by here. It'll break really hard. For those more experienced and better drivers out there, that doesn't include myself, uh, you might find this a little bit easier to use. Oh my god. No! I saw that coming as well. God damn it, I was so far ahead as well. The handling is poop. <laughs> it really is. Oh my god. Because I've, I've fitted like a lower suspension to this as well, any curb that you hit just, well, spins it out basically. Come on, come on, come on. Right, some straight uh, lines by here now. Let's go. Let's catch up at least with the Dukes in front of us. Here we go. This is my, my time to shine. This is 130 miles an hour. The fastest muscle car in the game by a mile. Come on. Catch up. We're doing so. We're gaining. Not by much, though. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the corners where it really loses its speed. You have to really slow down for it. Oh my god. Do you play Roblox? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or what. Oh my god. God damn it. This thing is the worst muscle car for races. That's what I'm going to say right now. It is the worst car for muscle car racing. Drag races, the best that you can get in the muscle car category. <laughs> That's all good, but muscle car races, no. Do you play Minecraft? I haven't played Minecraft since the beta. That was a long time ago. Well, five years ago or so. I did play once. Um, about three years ago, maybe? Just to see how the game had changed. And it changed a lot then. But uh, I haven't played since. I can't believe we had such a big lead. And then because of my poor ability to drive and its awful cornering, I came third. Do you play World War 2? No, I don't. I don't play that either. Uh, again, I haven't played a Call of Duty game uh, properly, at least, since Black Ops 2. I did play a bit of Black Ops 3, but I wasn't really a huge fan of that. I didn't play the multiplayer because of Exo Jump, and the, 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 the Zombies mode was awful. Do you play Fortnite? I do play a bit of Fortnite. I do play a bit of Fortnite. Not very often, though. I think the game that I play most at the moment is probably between Battlefield 1 and Fortnite. There we go. We lost that one, unfortunately. I'm going to back out now. I'm going to go back into free mode and take a look at some of those discounts and stuff then. Uh, so, so far than the conclusion on the Hustler, it is a good car. It's $625,000, which, sure, it's, a, it's on the expensive uh, end of things. Very quickly, I want to shout out uh, to Tom for the donation. He said, please add me as a friend. My name is Tom uh, TJK. Let me back out and do that right now as we are backing out. Uh, big shout out to you though, Tom. Appreciate that so much. Tom... CJK, there we go. I found you. Back in free mode. Right, let's first we'll take a look at some of the discounts then. So we know the Roosevelt and the Roosevelt Valor is discounted. We are going to go and customize those cars now in a few moments. Is there anything else though discounted on the Legendary Motorsports website? That is the question. So there's the, uh, the Roosevelt Valor and the Roosevelt discounted at 25%. I think that is it then for that website. Okay, let's go across to the Warstock Cash and Carry website. Uh, the Stromberg is discounted. That looks to be 25% as well. Uh, and the RCV, that's discounted as well. And the Barrage, that's discounted too, 25%. Or is it more than that? Hold up. Hold up, guys. Is it more? Because it's usually 1.6, so now it's 1.03. Let's get a calculator out and just work this out if I can. Uh, 1036750. Divide that by the original price. 96500. 
Oh, okay, right. There's a... According to this, there's, there's roughly uh, a, a 45... No, a 35% discount. Is that right? It's more. It's, it's more than 25%, that's for sure. 35% discount. Anything else on here, though? Oh, the buzzard. That's a scanner as well. And that's it for that website. Right. Uh, let's go to... Apparently, there's one of the properties discounted as well. Uh, the facilities. Not that I can see. Not that I can see any, any discounts on those. Maybe it's this one here that I bought. Because obviously, they offer discounts on select properties. Not always uh, every single one. Uh, let's go to the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. Nothing that I can see on here. We'll keep scrolling though. No, okay, right. And then Lita's Travel. Nothing on there. And we're going to go to the Doctees website. More as uh, for a joke. There's never any discounts on here. No, nothing on there. Okay. Let me quickly just check Twitter. See if anyone's tweeted any discounts. Just double check. See if there's anything over there. I don't see any any tweets actually about the discounts. Uh, Foxy Snaps, who sometimes tweets them out, hasn't tweeted anything today. That's unusual. And Tezfans2, who sometimes tweets out the discounts as well, hasn't tweeted any either. That's also very unusual. So we're going to have to do this for ourselves. If anyone knows any discounts, let me know right now. And... Uh, I'll take a look at those as well. But so far, from what we've seen, the discounts are on, well, mostly the Legendary Motorsports website and the Warstock Cash and Carry website. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go to the clothing store and see if there's any discounts on the Valentine's Day stuff over there. Oh, apparently Benny's. Benny's upgrades, apparently. Where's that? How do you guys know that? Oh, the Tron bike apparently is discounted as well. I didn't see that. That's on this website as well, right? The Tron bike. Where is it? It is on this website, isn't it? Where is it? Have I gone past it? Am I, like, tripping right now? I have no idea what's going on. Where is it? Is it on... Website. Apparently, there's discounts on deadline and all bunker missions as well. I'm, I'm guessing you mean double money and RP. What about uh, till death we part? That's probably going to have to be double money and RP as well, with it being the, uh, the Valentine's Day adversary modes. Yeah, there we go. Till death we part, or do us part. That's double money and RP because obviously, like I said. That is an, uh, a Valentine's Day themed. So deadline as well. Oh, okay. Maybe I haven't unlocked it yet on this account. In fairness, uh, I haven't used this account much. That's probably why. It hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay. Right, let's make our way to the clothing store very quickly and go and see if there's anything over there. Oh, the Goosenberg Sweeper. That's probably discounted as well. Let's go and uh, stop off the ammunition on our way. How much is that car? It's $625,000. I should probably just put it in the title, right? Goosenberg Sweeper. Where is it? Where is the Sweeper? Again, am I blind? Sweeper, Sweeper, Sweeper. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Please someone help me out right now. I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm just blind or... Is the sweeper not here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was looking right at me. Okay, because I own it, I can't really buy it, but I'm going to guess it's it. discounted. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's discounted. All right. 
Let's get back into the car. The ammo isn't discounted, I don't think. But again, that was false. We couldn't check that. Right, let's make our way to the clothing store. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a nice swanky Valentine's Day uh, outfit. This car, in fairness, is a pretty fun, fun car to drive around in free mode. Oh my god. And then things like that happen. Or we just like hit the curb. And it just throws the car off. Oops. <laughs> I'm off accidentally held on the handbrake. Alright, here we go. Let's go and check out these discounts. All these free items. Whatever they're gonna be. I'll check the outfits first of all. Right, hips aren't discounted. Valentine's Day. Is there a, a select section for that? Like oh, there isn't. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. Uh, they are discounted. All right, let's go for one of these then. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Or we can go for some underwear. Yeah, they will give that one a miss for today. Uh, and that's it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So the Valentine's Day clothing is discounted. I'm guessing either 25 or 50% off. Uh, then special t-shirts. Let's see if there's anything that's been given out today. That'll look great on you. Special t-shirts. I have no idea if any of these are new or not. Uh, I'm trying to think of the one that's Valentine's Day themed. Is it, uh... Oh, I can't think what it's called. I don't see it anyway. I think I'd, I'd re remember the name if I saw it, but uh, I don't think we get a special t-shirt for logging in. I thought we might, because we did last year. Alright then, guys. Let's make our way to the office garage then. And we're going to go and very quickly customize the Albany Roosevelt Valor and the Albany Roosevelt uh, which, well, I think the Roosevelt is probably the the least customizable one. The Valor's a little bit better. We'll customize both of those, and we will do it in our office garage this time. I'll just drive down to the custom shop like I do every time and forget. All right, office garage one. When is the 190Z coming out? It should have been today, but I don't know why Rockstar skipped over it. I guess I know why. The reason is because... This is a Valentine's Day themed vehicle. But I don't know how they did it, I should say. Um, but yeah, that'll be next week, unfortunately. Alright, let's get into the Valor. Take that upstairs. Get this thing customized. Alright. Upgrade the armor. Upgrade the brakes. Bumpers. We're going to go for the the classic chrome bumper. That's pretty nice. Rear bumper. We're going to go for the classic one on that as well. Chassis. Right, we can... What's that actually change? I don't see any difference at all. Oh, hold up. There's loads and loads of options in the chassis. That's why. Ignore me. Right, so we can put these uh, primary arch covers on. Uh, arch covers. Let's go for that. Uh... Put these uh, side hood grills, let's do that as well. We can go for some front details, adding chrome horns to the front. Uh, chrome light details, adding those. And we can go for the combination, let's do that. Light detail and horns. Spare wheel, let's go for one of those. That's the side one. Let's go for... Oh, let's leave it on none. The stock option is much nicer. Badges, you can change the... Uh, or fit a badge to the front on the top. I'm going to go for the uh, diamond wing badge. Let's do that. We're not going to put deflectors on. I like the stock lights. Ornaments. We can add these chrome sections to the fenders. Let's do that. Spotlights. We can add those on the sides. Let's do that as well. And add a rear spare wheel. We'll go for the, uh, the cover one. Sweet. There we go. There's chassis done. Let's upgrade the engine. Grill, we can go for a fancier grill, let's do that. Best stock grill is quite nice anyway, but yeah, we'll go for the, the versatile chrome grill. Hood, I'm not going to choose any of those. Horn, let's go for the uh, 
Sad trombone. Let's upgrade those. Plates. I want to put my custom plate on. I'm going to go for the uh, yellow and black uh, themed one. Okay, color. Let's go for a primary ice white, which we already have. And then secondary, let's try that as well. Or maybe a different secondary color. What about chrome? Ooh. No, actually, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> I thought at first it might be all right. Black isn't too bad. Black is the uh, the secondary is is not too bad. So yeah, we'll 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 leave it on black as the uh, as the secondary color. Uh, side plates we can add these chrome steps on. So let's do that. Suspension just leave that the same. Upgrade the transmission. Turbo. Wheels are really nice. We're not going to change those out. Um, but we will go for a uh, limo window tint. All right, exit vehicle. Let's walk around this car then. So yeah, there we go. That is the Albany Roosevelt Valor. Of course, available in GTA Online. Uh, has been now for the last couple of years, two years. Uh, and it's discounted. I think it's 25%. So if you guys want to get yourselves one of these, uh, now I guess it's your time to do so. I wouldn't really recommend it though. It's not the, the best of vehicles. But uh, given the event tomorrow, and the fact this is a Valentine's Day themed vehicle, I thought might as well buy it. Let's get back in, go back downstairs. We're going to go ahead and customize the standard uh, Roosevelt that we have as well. It was first released into the game back in... Uh, God, when was it? It was like 2014, I think. All right, exit to Garage 1. It is a really cool looking car in fairness. Very, very awesome car to use for doing statmatics and stuff like that. Especially with the Valentine's Day clothing as well. You can get some really awesome ones. All right, let's take this upstairs as well. I can't even remember what customizations this thing even has. It's been that long. What are you after? Right, so upgrade the armor, the brakes, and the engine. I'm pretty sure this car just has standard upgrades. I don't think there are many things available for it. Now some kind of engine. Horn. Let's go for the Liberty City one. Upgrade the lights to Xenon. Can the exhaust please stop? It's kind of annoying me now. There we go. Uh, San Andreas exempt plate, respray. Right, there's a color I really like on this car, and it's like a dark green. Classic. Let's see if I can find it. Dark green. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, stats have a green. Let's go for that. Bright green, and then secondary needs to be black. There we go. Green and black. We won't change the suspension. We will, of course, upgrade the transmission. Turbo. The wheels are really nice stock. We're not going to change those. Windows. No, we won't tint the windows. And that is it. All right. Back to Office Garage 1. So not many customizations then available for this one. The battle is probably the better one to get, but it's a little bit more expensive. There we go. All right, then, guys. The, uh, the Roosevelt, the Valor, and of course the two Hustlers we customized earlier on. Yeah, so there we go uh, then guys, that's pretty much it then for this live stream I think. We're going to wrap things up right now, do a few shoutouts, and uh, I'm going to go get myself some food because I am super hungry. So uh, yeah, today then, very mysteriously Rockstar didn't release the Karen 190Z, they released the Hustler instead, the Vapid Hustler. And I know some of you guys will be happy about that. Some of you guys won't be so happy. I know there's quite a few of you guys actually aren't so happy. Um, but it's going to come out next week instead. So look forward to that. Um, so yeah, and, and until then I guess uh, the next question is, is the Hustler worth buying? So I briefly sort of touched upon this uh, earlier on. It's $625,000. So it's expensive for a muscle car and for what you're getting. But it is the fastest car in the category. There's plenty of customization for it. It looks cool. It's not really good at going around corners. It's, it's cornering ability is awful. So just, just keep the straight lines and you'll be alright. So if you are considering to buy this, but you're not too sure, put it this way. If you're not sure whether you should get it or not, the answer is probably no. Just because it's one of those cars which you'll probably buy, use for maybe five minutes or so, and then never use again. It's 
in my opinion, not really that special of a vehicle. Um, but if you guys do like the car, straight away you look at this and you, you just love it for its appearance, then yes, definitely get it because it is pretty impressive, in my opinion. A bit better than I thought it would be, in the terms of speed at least. Anyway, so yeah, with that being said guys, we're going to wrap things up then. If you guys would like a shout out, you know the drill. Drop a like on the stream, comment something in the chat so I can see your name, hashtag likes, shout out, hello, hi, goodbye, whatever you want to put. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, give you a shout out. Apparently, uh, Tez Funds 2 just posted a tweet that I need to check out. So let me quickly go check that right now and see what he said. All right. Uh, the Vapid Hustler is now available in game. There's double money on the body uh, bodyguards and associate salaries. 35% off the RCV, 25% off the Stromberg, Buzzard, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Valor, and the Shataro. 25% uh, off the uh, executive offices, Benny's vehicles, which I didn't see actually. Uh, and high-end properties. Quite a few discounts then. And uh, there's a... Oh, yeah, double money in RP on Hardest Target, which came out last week. All right, okay. Let's get into the shoutouts then. It's raining right now, so we have to be very, very careful about uh, smashing into things. Uh, shout out to He Needs Some Milk. Shout out to Chili uh, Master as well. Wells Dragon Rule. Thank you for the like as well. Shout out to uh, Little Stimpy. Shout out to uh, K Punjali. Shout out to Alpha Tube. Shout out to Lucas. Shout out to the Hellcat Lover. Shout out to Isaac. Shout out to. Uh, so that's Elias, 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 right? <laughs> Not my first attempt. Uh, shout out to Sam plays MC. Shout out to uh, Christian. Shout out to Joseph. Shout out to Adam Welsh. Shout out to uh, some random person. Shout out to Josh once again for the like. Shout out to uh, TL MC for the like as well. Domzilla. Thank you for tuning in, man, and uh, getting involved in the stream as well. Oh my god, this thing is all from the rain. Uh, shout out to Simon, thank you for the like as well. Um, is that Mustaza? If I said that right, thank you for the like as well. Uh, Will Filler, shout out to Dan TT Gamer as well. Some Chinese writing, shout out to you. I, I don't speak Chinese, so I literally cannot even read it. Uh, shout out to Joe, shout out to uh, Oliver. Shout out to Joe, shout out to Mr. J. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally cannot read the chat on my other monitor and drive at the same time. I'm so bad at this. Shout out to Greedy, shout out to Steve, shout out to Lawrence, shout out to Princess, shout out to Logan, shout out to Breeze, shout out to HK, shout out to Otto, shout out to uh, Chu Chun Lam, shout out to Slade Hun, I uh, say HD, my bad. Shout out to Jay's Life, shout out to Black Ops Boy, as always. Uh, shout out to you noob, shout out to Jay's Life, shout out to Patrick, shout out to uh, Joseph Hall again, HK Phil, Lucas as well, shout out to you, uh, is that Ish as well, shout out to you, David, shout out to you as well, and Lawrence. With that being said guys, that is going to be it then for this live stream. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. I think later on I will probably make a video on this vehicle. Obviously it wasn't expected to come out today. So I'll probably make a video sort of giving an overview on this. Talking about some of the things we've discussed in this live stream. And some other things you guys need to know about it. Um, so yeah, with that being said guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys then later on. Have a fantastic day. I love you all. Goodbye.